that's around Lake Tana in Amhara region of Ethiopia. And I'll also share with my local team about my uncle's story, because only my driver and my translator and me. Um, so at the end of my research, the driver told me that he found the road we used it every day from where I live to the two villages that I randomly selected for conducting interviews is the same road that built by my uncle 70 years ago. <laughs> Um, my research was a huge success, or just a success. Back <laughs> um, more professors started to know me as a development practitioner who are interested in agricultural or even a budding agricultural economist. And even the random cattle picture I took in the village of Baharda won me a prize in a photo competition of my department. Um, I will show you the photo later if I have the chance. And, um, but when I calmed down and looked back, I realized the only achievement was one for myself. Like, actually, I didn't bring any substantial improvements to the lives of those Ethiopians, those lovely, kind, friendly Ethiopians in the village who helped to build my capacity for doing research and really understand what's going on in the field. So, as the typical Chinese kid, I was, Stay in school, different kinds of schools, in my past 21 years, from kindergarten to the end of my graduate study, which is this May. <coughs> um, after graduating, I thought it was a chance or like the time for me to really come back to Ethiopia and to give back to the people, to build their capacity and to give back to them and really stand by and with them. So I came back to Ethiopia, I joined the IRB as a fellow, and this is also my first official full-time postgraduate job. <laughs> I'm really excited to work with um, different research teams and stakeholders from different sectors that um, probably holding total of different opinions. And to understand the hardcore agricultural technologies that developed by you guys, I would really try my best to understand. And I'm really excited to test if they're ready to be scaled up, to reach the actual farmers in the field to improve their quality of life. And also I'm excited to bring all the relevant people to the same table and help them to strive for the same purpose. And most important to me is to continuously learn from other people and also build our capacities together. So that's why I'm here, and I'd like to also prove that we Chinese people can do definitely more than construction. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.